Good morning, runners. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's another beautiful day. Let me tell you what today's episode is going to be about. It's going to be about foam rolling. And foam rolling, it's something that I've wanted to be good at for years. And I'm really making a commitment this year to foam roll. In fact, I think I have foam rolled more in 2020 than I ever have before. You might be asking yourself, who is this guy? Is he a professional foam roller? No, hardly. I'm Matt and I am very deficient in foam rolling. So I'm going to show you how I do it. There we go. That's a good start. Let's roll that intro. Foam rolling is great for recovery, right? That's what we've all heard. Before I get into foam rolling, I have to go out for a run, kind of wear out those muscles, so I've got something to roll. So this morning's run was pretty awesome. Uh, my first two miles were with Harmony. I did plan to run a little further with her, but I woke up late, but it was still good. I don't get too many running photos with Harmony, so I was happy to bring in the camera for just a minute and get a few shots of us running together. As soon as I finish this run, we're going to talk foam rolling. Ah, oh, this is good. Just making this video is going to make me foam roll more often. You guys, hold me accountable. I'm going to hold you accountable, but I'm kind of the one putting it out there that I suck at foam rolling, so I need you guys. All right, we're in this together. We are in this together. Wow. Another perfect run, another perfect run. Guys, it is 64 degrees or almost 18 degrees Celsius. It is nice and cool, beautiful. Okay, today's run 13.11 miles or 21.1 kilometers at an average pace of 818 a mile or 509 a kilometer. All right, my legs are kind of sore, so uh, okay, it's time to get foam rolling. Let's, uh, let me show you how I do it. Foam rolling, huh? Who would have thought? I am going to get adept at foam rolling if it kills me. What is this? Someone has a package. All right, let me put down the camera and see what's in it. Hey, it's to me. The package is for me. Okay, this, this is pretty exciting, but I should really shower before I get into this because I'm going to lose myself in whatever's in here. So shower and I'll be right back. I'm such a time waster. It's been about an hour since I walked away and I had a shower and ate breakfast, but now it's time. Now it's time to open the box. We're going to see what's inside. I still haven't foam rolled. Oh, okay. Oh, ho, ho, people. Let's file that there. Okay, what a coincidence that today we're talking about foam rolling and I get home and there is a Vulcan vibrating foam roller sitting at my front door. Let's get into this and take a look. Comes with a bag in case I want to carry it with me anywhere. See, we have all the charging stuff wrapped up. All right. Pretty unassuming. Pretty unassuming, that's what we like. This is what it looks like on the end. Okay, so this Vulcan vibrating foam roller, $79.99 on Amazon. I will link to it in the description below. So uh, if you wanna go ahead and pick up one of these, you can. From what I understand, it has four settings. So let's just, oh, oh, can we hear this? It's like vibrating. This is the lowest, the lowest setting. That's setting number two. Setting number three is like a pulsing setting. It goes down and then the vibrations pick up to a higher RPM. All right, and then setting number four is like full power. I cannot wait to do some foam rolling. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's the unboxing. Vulcan vibrating foam roller. Let's get into it and uh, let's talk about foam rolling. Okay, 
All right, here we go. First of all, why, why should we foam roll, okay? Why is it that foam rolling is so popular and it's so popular because it really works. Okay, but what does it work to do? Running is a process of like breaking down the muscles and then building it back up. And when they rebuild, they rebuild stronger than they were before. So we get stronger. Our muscles is surrounded by fascia. It's like a collagen material that surrounds the muscles and kind of protects them. When you keep breaking down your muscles through a repetitive action like running, the fascia can grow tight and it's growing tight to protect those muscles, all right? So let's say this is my muscle and this is the fascia. The fascia kind of gets tight over it and it can get tight in certain spots. If you break up that fascia and kind of release those trigger points, okay? Trigger point is a key word because that is what the knots are actually called. A myofascial trigger point is where the fascia gets tight in little knots. If you work on this, if you work on your fascia by foam rolling, you can release that and you can avoid running injuries. So foam rolling is really preventative. If you want to prevent injuries, foam rolling is pretty key. So this is what I do for foam rolling. I've been really trying to do this after every single run. And listen, I've been keeping up with it so far. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going to grab my new Vulcan vibrating foam roller and uh, see if I can make these legs feel good. All right, let's go. I am going to put this thing on the second setting because that feels like a good, a good vibration. And first of all, oh, that feels good. First of all, we are going to roll out these hamstrings. When you start foam rolling, you can do two legs together. This kind of takes the pressure off of any one leg. And if it feels better or you need a little more weight, you can just cross your legs over and roll out these hammies. People generally foam roll too quickly and you wanna go very slowly. A quick roll over the fascia isn't going to release it, all right? It might feel good for a second, but let's be real, foam rolling does not always feel good. In fact, it generally hurts. And when you find a spot that hurts more than somewhere else, that's the tight adhesions, adhesions in your fascia. And that's what you wanna stop on and just focus on for a second. So when you get to a tight spot, you're gonna to wanna to gently roll over it. I'm not even sure if you can see this on camera, but I'm focusing on a tight spot in my hammy. And then we roll on past it. Oh, this thing feels really good on my muscles. I'd be interested to hear, who has a vibrating foam roller? It takes it to the next level. It feels really good. I don't know what science there is behind it, if the vibrating helps more than regular foam rolling, but it sure feels good. Now we're moving on to the calf. Slowly, easy does it. Stretching out that fascia. This is where the recovery happens, guys. I'm gonna put a little more weight on it as I come back. Remember, slow, slow is the key to foam rolling. All right, here we go. Rolling out the glutes. Oh my gosh, that, listen, everyone should have a vibrating foam roller. This thing is, this thing feels really good. We all know the glutes are a big part of our running, running muscles, running, system. You can't neglect your glutes. They play a big role, making you the runner you are. Got a little tight spot, so I'm slowing down and focusing on that area, kind of rolling back and forth. I am going to turn the foam roller in the other direction, and I'm going to roll it out to the side. And the reason I'm going this way is because uh, the muscle fibers kind of run to the side in your glutes. I'm rolling out kind of left to right rather than front to back. And that's because I'm stretching out the fascia and it's running in that direction. I feel like I'm going too fast, so I'm trying to slow down. All right, let me just knock out the other side. I'm gonna do the quads now, guys. We're gonna do the quads. And the quads, man, they can really hurt when they're foam rolling. Okay, you can see now that this is Harmony's mat. We have become those people that leaves their mats out all the time. So this is just part of our living room furniture. And it reminds us to get down on the mat and stretch and foam roll. Guys, if you're getting any value from this, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not already. Okay, but let's, uh, let's get back to the foam rolling. We're gonna do some quads very slowly moving the foam roller across my quad. This one is a lot tighter than the other ones. Oh. Guys, all right, if I haven't already mentioned, this is the Vulcan foam roller. It's pretty good. There are a lot more expensive options out there. This one is like a steal at uh, just under $80. I am gonna put my link 
my affiliate link in the comments below. So if you wanna buy it, go ahead and use my link. I get a little kickback. You don't pay any more for the products, but they do give me a very tiny kickback. And it's just, you know, every little bit helps. Helps support the channel, helps me make more videos. Okay, let me go and sit back in the office. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, one more thing. I just wanna to talk to you about one more thing. Ooh. Oh, okay, you know what? Foam rolling is not easy. We work hard at our training, we have to work hard at our recovery. Guys, I can't lie to you, I feel guilty. I feel guilty to you, my YouTube family. Listen, Vulcan sent me this foam roller to test and I knew it was coming. I've actually had it for a couple of days, so I've been, I've been using it for a couple of days. I did fall in love with it from the first time I used it, but I know I made it look like in the video that I came back from a run and there was a package. You know, it's all in the production, isn't it? All right, the production is half the fun. So, guys, if you want one of these, check out the link down below. I'd recommend it. I would buy this. For $80, I think it is well worth it. Thank you for staying all the way to the end. You, my friend, are appreciated. Another video in a couple days. Be kind, be happy, run well. I'll see you next time.